Hello and happy Thursday. We're going to start all over again on this, huh? Hey, say this with me right now. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Do you believe that? Say it like you mean it. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Hallelujah, huh? Hey, don't forget to share this video with everybody you know. And uh, don't forget, if you need a prayer answer today, you call me because I am ready, willing, and able today to get your prayers answered. Glory to God, huh? Hey, I want to talk to you today about breaking generational curses of poverty. How many of you know that poverty is caused by a curse? If you got a Bible or a phone or whatever, turn to Deuteronomy chapter 28. While you're turning there, don't forget when you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you, which is the exact opposite of these curses that we're talking about. Deuteronomy 28 verse 29 says, And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, but shall be only oppressed forever. This is what generational curses do. This is what the curse, this is actually the curse of poverty. That's what it is. Thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness. In other words, you're just trying to feel your way around the world. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. You ever feel like that is on you? You ever feel like you're just struggling and struggling to make a living? That, that, that you got pockets with holes in them? That everything you get just goes away? It's a curse of poverty. There are nations, countries that are living with this curse of poverty. There are areas of our country that have curses of poverty in there. One comes to mind is, and don't get mad at me if you live there, but it's Appalachia. That area is very, has been poverty stricken for years. The reason is because a curse of poverty has gotten in there. Amen? Thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, but shall be only oppressed. Oppression is caused by the devil. Poverty and sickness are punishment for the original sin. And Jesus took these punishments on him when he went to the cross. To allow the devil to put poverty on you is double jeopardy. You're paying the same price for the original sin that Adam, that Adam sinned. You're paying the same price that Jesus paid. And believe me, folks, he doesn't need your help to pay that bill. He picked up the check. He took the punishment. You don't need to put up with it. You don't need to put up with this, this curse of poverty. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, but shall be only oppressed forever. Poverty, a curse of poverty, is a forever thing. Unless it's broken. Amen. We were in the restaurant business. And finally, I struggled with finances for years. Just every month we were believing right down to the last day. Many times to get our bills paid. We had a good sized restaurant. A lot of business in there. A lot of people. The place was packed all the time. And finally after three or four months. I got to the point where. And I was doing the books and the accounting. Uh, I had a lot of that in my business education in college. And so I did all the accounting procedures for this business. And I got to the, at the end of a month, I had $300 left over after all the bills were paid. And I thought, whoa, we are breaking through. We are beginning to see a profit. Would you believe the very next day? I got a bill for exactly $300. It was like, there. it's like, I my pockets had, I'm putting my hands in my pockets right now, my pockets had holes in them. The money just poured through my pockets. Just as fast as it would come to me, it would go away. 
Well, one time, one night, a few years after that, I was reading in a book about curses and it dropped into my spirit that my grandfather had cursed my dad. My grandfather had cursed my father concerning poverty. He told him when the, when the family moved to California and my dad didn't want to go, he told him, he said, if you stay here, you'll never amount to anything. You'll never have anything. Because my granddad was rich. He was very wealthy. And he went out to California and him and my uncles became millionaires 10 times over. They bought land in those fertile valleys out there. Had great big vegetable farms. Truck, they call them truck farms. Where they were trucking these vegetables all over. They became wealthy beyond anything you can imagine. But my dad didn't. He struggled and so did I. Now this did not pass down to my brother. My brother was very successful. But I struggled. And the Lord laid that on me that that's what had happened. Because I knew my dad did not get along with his dad, my granddad. I went outside on the street at midnight, stood in the middle of the street. I said, in the name of Jesus, I break the curse of poverty in my life. And I'm telling you what, people, it felt like somebody reached down and pulled a heavy, wet blanket off of me. It's just like, I just, you know, it's like, it's like you don't even know you're carrying this thing around until it's gone. You go, whoa, whoa. It's like somebody just pulled it up off of me. Oh, my finances a few months later started to change. The Lord started to show me what I needed to do to get everything turned around. And I did exactly what the Lord showed me how to do. And I'm telling you what, people, we live in absolute abundance. No more empty pockets. No more holes in my pocket. Now money accumulates. It doesn't go away. People don't cheat me out of my money. People don't steal my stuff anymore. I mean, people used to steal me blind. Steal my money. Steal everything I had. I mean, the, the people stole from me. It, hundreds of thousands of dollars I've had stolen from me. Guess what? Came back. Came back. Because that curse was broken. You need help with this, people. You got this going on in your life. If you are struggling and nothing seems to work out financially, I got news for you. There's a curse of poverty going on. Let's get it broke. I can break that for you. You call me. I'm telling you, people call me. When they do, I break these generational curses of sickness and disease and poverty. I'm telling you, you wouldn't believe how people's finances turn around when I do that. All of a sudden, that curse is not there. That curse that allows these demons to be in there to, to hinder your, pro, your progress and to make things difficult for you. All of a sudden, they're all gone. Everything turns around. Glory to God. This is absolutely amazing, people. Please, if you've got this going on in your life today, you call me today. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Get my phone number and call me. Say, Pastor Jim, please break that curse of poverty in my life. I will do it. You watch what happens to you in the next six months and to a year. Your life will, it'll all turn around. In Jesus' name, share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know that they don't have to live in poverty. They don't have to have all their stuff stolen. They don't have to have everything taken away from them. That can stop and it can stop today. Things will start to turn around. Glory to God. Huh? Also, if you need a prayer answer today, please call me. I am ready, willing, and able to get your prayers answered. Also, when you do your donations and offerings today, call me because not only do I want to break the curse of poverty in your life, 
but I want to speak the blessing over you and over your offering. Glory to God. You have a wonderful day. I love you very much. And may God bless you abundantly. I will see you right back here again tomorrow.